Look upon the grand empire of Lohara, my son. When I die, everything you see will be yours. Father, I am an old man. My sons are old men. Their sons are adults, full grown to age with sons of their own. Do you not know? Know what, my son? Look what I have done for us. We, our family name will echo through the ages. Father, I will support you to the end, but I am not going to pretend that you've done this for us. I don't understand why you and the vassals and everyone else can't just appreciate my vision. Father, we simply haven't seen what you've seen, and we do not know when this will end and what purpose it all fills in your mind. Hello and welcome connoisseurs of Crusader Kings 3, friends of the channel and newcomers alike, we are here once again, and probably for the last time with Somrot, Somnoth, the Lohar Empire, and this may be the last time with our Lohar Dynasty as well. So we, we have achieved more than anything we had imagined at the beginning. We are about to complete the task of taking Persia. Eventually, we will die, but... Because we are more than 10 years away from being able to probably realistically conquer Persia, we have made the decision that we are going to cease our long time praying to Kali, and we are going to pray to Ganja in order to hope that our life will be extended long enough to succeed at finalizing the last piece of the puzzle in the glory of the Lohar Empire. Right. That should take us back to fine, which should extend ourselves without the risk of getting any serious diseases for at least another couple of years. And then, we shall see what happens. We need to begin right away with a war against this person here. We are also going to have to manage our prisoners, because we have a lot of them, so we're going to declare war against him for this emirate. We'll declare that war right away. We need to move our flag to here. We need to raise the Holy Order. We need to raise men at arms. And we're also going to do a raise all. Because this guy's probably going to have about 10,000 troops, so we want to get about 15,000 troops, maybe, maybe 16,000 troops. One thing we can do and will do is we're going to go in here. The particular um, accolade we have right now can take rough brain experts. So did we do it already? Uh, we want to recruit a mountain specialist. It's a little expensive, but it will guarantee they're a rough terrain expert. Hopefully, hopefully they are not good enough. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. We don't need him for anything. That's too bad very rare that those guys are that bad. Usually they are decent warriors, but uh, not this time. Let's just look at what we got going on here. It looks like he's going to try to make a move. This army here has 19 days left. That's fine. I don't think he's going to reach us in 19 days. If he doesn't reach us in 19 days, then... Well... <laughs> then he doesn't stand a chance of defeating us. Fine, so let's merge this. That is a lot more than we intended to raise. <laughs> Get this down to someplace closer to 20,000. There we go. Much better. Much, much more like what we actually wanted to do here. Let's get in there. Start doing this work. Who got taken prisoner? My vassal? Huh. What kind of war are you fighting in? So you are trying to take over the kingdom of Persia, are you? All right. I mean, by trying to, you've already succeeded. There's a new king of Persia, I suppose. Let's head over here. Let him make his move. Let's drop uh, besiegers here. Then take the remaining troops this way. Okay. Ooh, he learned Kashmiri. Uh, good for him, I suppose, but uh, has little or nothing to do with me. And by little or nothing to do with me, I, I mean literally nothing to do with me. See where he intends to go. So he decided to siege there for like one second. 
And then he thought better of it, which is pretty wise, I would say. We caught half of him. We've got the enemy banner here. Let's look at it. Okay. We're going to keep this so we can turn it into money. I need to bring this unit army back down here in case that lower army thinks it would be wise to... Ooh. He actually chose... Oh, that, never mind. I was going to say he actually made the interesting choice to... Uh, to try to stop me because it might have meant this guy was going to make some move here, but um, that's irrelevant. We're just going to enforce our demands. We're not going to play the money game this time. Not this time. Expand all of this. That gives us um, about four away. We can gain three up here. Counties to the Empire title, that is. Let's see what we've got now that's new. Or artifacts. Oh, there's that mysterious lamp we were looking for. We're just going to break that. And then we got this war banner here that we don't want, so we'll break that. Now we still have to deal with our last son here. He needs a title. It will remove him from his position as our knight, which I was trying to avoid doing. Do we have any place to station either of these? There we do, but everything up here is full, right? That's all we hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we don't have any place to put these guys, and we're not gonna. Fine, because we're not holding this. Go back. Go to our son here. Let's go to our knights. Let's look. He's got a successor. Let's grant him titles. Here, 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 and here. Good. Then I want to buy him this duchy. We grant him this title. And then we grab the kingdom title if it's available. The kingdom of Mesopotamia, it is. We will grant him now the kingdom title of Mesopotamia. Nope, not Turan. That's an empire. <laughs> kingdom of Mesopotamia, that's good. He's now the king of Mesopotamia. We're going to do this war next. We have no stress. Transfer the vassal. Prisoners to ransom. It's another hundred gold. Get an alliance with him. Okay, let's... You are not useful. Let's let this run a little bit while we're doing this. What was I thinking about? Some stress from our befuddling age. I mean, we are insanely old. There's no question about that. Uh, this person is worth a hook and nothing else. You don't you don't want this child back? It's it's your It's your son? You don't want your son back? You don't want your son back? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna let him go, but I, I I'm gonna make sure he knows before he leaves that his dad didn't want him back. He basically thought he was worth nothing. For all he knows, I could have like killed you in prison. So in my prison, I found an unmarried woman who we have recruited to our court so that we can specifically marry in this guy because he should be able. <laughs> he should be able. To take one of our knight positions. Go to our knights here. He should be able... He can. I don't have any idea why he wouldn't be a knight, so we will force him. And make him the successor, so that's got us one successor. And then we're going to need a successor here because our son is about to be disqualified because he's a king. And, uh, yeah, so the next thing we need to do, the next part of the plan, is this war here. For three counties, which we cannot quite do yet. So we're going to clean up up here so we can make our other son a king by doing our du jour war for this duchy. 
He is in terrible condition when it comes to fighting a war, so we should be able to do this quite easily. Yeah, you, might as well, you might as well siege this, actually. That, that'll be probably super fast. And there we are, 94%. Enforce demands. Good. Just disband this. And look at what we have achieved here. We have our victory. We have our victory. There it is, there it is. Let's enforce our demands. Not accidentally quick click white piece. And then we will wait till the war is over. The traitor be known to all. Right. Are we ready here yet? No. So I guess we go up here and grab this person's war. Just slow it down grab our flag, of course. To raise all men-at-arms here. There's a couple other things we need to do. We need to go in here, look at the kingdom title for this place. We need to usurp that. We need to go to our son who lives up here. We need to grant him the title that we just got here, that we stole from that other guy. And we also need to make him the king. Awesome. So now another one of our sons is king. Good for him. Glory to the Lohar dynasty. Lohara. Innocence is vigilance. Our eternal house is amazing. Look at all these lovely, lovely cadet branches with all of their military strength. <laughs> Look at the whole house itself. 186 living members of the house when we started with, I believe, either five or six. It's wild, wonderful. Just let them threshold to the to being stuck. And then get them. Good. 100%. Enforced demands. All of these people up in the north who would have been better off if they had just accepted vassalage. You know, the offer is still on the table. Accept vassalage, and we won't have to continue. Is that even in my territory? It is. Yeah, it is. So. Accept vassalage. And this won't have to continue. Are we ready here yet? Nope. We're just going through this all so fast. Now we have to fight our friend because we became friends with him hoping that he would accept vassalage and he will not accept vassalage because we are paranoid. We are paranoid. So we will just have to... Continue the road, I suppose. Let's move our flag to here. We will declare war on him. I'm sorry, my friend, but this is just how it has to be. If you would have accepted vassalage, this wouldn't have to happen. What's worse is this good is going to lower your territory because this is all going to be distributed to people other than you. I mean, it might be already. So you will suffer for that go. How long is it going to be before the army, other army is raised? Uh, escaped. Frickin' hell. I've, I haven't been doing my prison. We need to do our prison. <laughs> do we have anybody who needs to be uh, ransomed yet? You. Why can I lawfully imprison him? What did he do? I think he had an affair. I don't care about that. You can be hardened. What are the new alliances here? my nephew, my grandson. I guess my uh, my poor son lost his war to maintain his title, so it passed down to his grandson, who's now in charge. And to his son, I should say, my grandson. That's fine, we'll transfer this. 
Do we have someone for this now? Nope, but we'll look for someone. You need a successor and we don't have one? Do we have a successor for you yet? Nope, still not. Okay, that's fine. We probably should usurp this and then give it to our son, but not right now. Now maybe he can do it himself? Is the other possibility? Right, so we can fix the situation with this one now. He's a 12, so we're going to have to force him to do it. Reflecting on Vishnu. Oh, we're remembering our pilgrimage from so many years ago. Yes. Some might argue that possibly we should consider going on another, but no. We're dedicating our lives to what we know to be the correct and holy path for us, which is to finally create an indomitable empire like those told of in the ancient songs and poems. Okay, let's go to Learning Perk, Defender of the Faith, Diplomacy plus level of Devotion. Okay, <laughs> we are very, very diplomatic. And we are fine still, good, so we still probably have the years in us required to continue our quest. We have captured a valuable prisoner. We will probably just ransom him. Yep, got ransoms. Let's get this siege done. Come on, guys. Let's get in there. Remerge this. Good. And we have... Secured yet another victory. Another victory. The holdouts in the north are nearly completely gone now. The time yet? Nope. Let's check and see how much longer we have on these two cooldowns. Two years. Okay. Well. Wow. Huh. I mean... There are things we can find to do for two years. Let me see. Let's look at our knights. Not our our knights who are of who are holding things because of their positions, but our powerful long-term knights. This guy, maybe. The other thing we could do is we could do this in the uh, simpler way, which is we can just go to Grant to. A local noble. And then we will grant all of that to him. There we go. So do we want to actually do this? Do we want to start pushing towards this empire? It's very late in the game to be doing that. <laughs> um, if we look at our empire thing here, we need like... 30, which means we got to be taking whole kingdoms to make that happen. Let's look at you. If I was to declare war on you, you, do we have any claims that are significant against you? Not significant. Not significant. If we were to look at you from the standpoint of... This. Claimants. Do you want to create a blind king in the south? guy's younger. Problem with him is that he won't come. This young man won't come. This dwarf will come. You make a dwarf king. Do we want to do that? Will this be our candidate? Are we going to do it? <laughs> yeah, I think we are. I mean... She passed away because she's super old. He's got enough kids. She, she, he's fine. Like, I mean, your son is probably going to die before you at this rate. I don't know if you know that. That's what happens when you hold on to petty life. So if I was to declare war on you for this guy's claim, we could take all of this in one go. You, um... 
You don't stand a chance. You don't you don't stand a chance to do it. Let's declare that war. These wars are, are the worst wars yet. We're we have become such a horrid warmonger. We thought we wanted one thing at the beginning and we ended up we ended up chasing something different. Now it's come to the point where we're just validating our actions with whatever kind of uh, sophistry ends with the words and so our war was valid all right my son has created an afghan kasmari hybridization probably probably would have been the hybridization i would have done myself if i had been allowing that in this game interesting loyal subjects eye for an eye very interesting i probably would have taken uh as well you can move down we don't want to get tricked into uh, letting him pass us and, and kill our guys instead we just want to do another surgical war where we quickly destroy his armies before any allies or anyone else who might participate can show up what are you doing We're, what are you doing are these mercenaries or something that you're you're calling to their deaths? Because these feel like unnecessary wars that you're you're perpetrating. I'm gonna just take you and have you move through these guys. And I'm gonna send you there. But this will be finished by the time you reach. And there we go. We have had success. Another fast war has been won. Quick as that. Start doing our ransoms. Some you. Some you. <laughs> I was about to say, do we have prisoners? Because it's fine if we have to do that the hard way. But, uh... So be it. Disband all. You don't have any nasty relatives who want to take your place, do you? Because if you do, I'd love to meet them. Look, you have a nasty relative who'd, who'd like to take your place. Oh, well, that's spectacular, because I was looking for a nasty relative who'd be willing to take your place. Going up here, are we ready to do this yet? Has it been two years? Still not two years. Oh, this is going very, very fast. We're not going to do this war immediately, although we probably should do one last hold court. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased and all faces turned towards mine expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners lined up in an orderly row, waiting for me to call on them. Gesture for the first in line to approach. Dampati Punjman comes forward, proceeding with marked caution. Your Grace, my Dama of... Uh, Sakalakand grows rich with our burger, burgers dealings from traders and travelers who daily pass through Kabulistan's and our gates. We have made our town and you prosperous and deserve greater influence. It seems the burgers forget their place. I'm not going to imprison him. Sure, we'll take the uh, mercantile charter. That's fine. We'll lose a little bit of money. But gain some development growth. We're okay with that. As soon as it's his turn to speak, the agitated man in front of me screams, The end is nigh! Ah, uh, no. I could burn him. I think we're gonna burn him. People need to know that that kind of religious fool foolery is not accepted in this domain. My lord, I regret to inform you that the religious situation of my land is out of control. I have tried to make my subjects see the light of our true faith, but too many of them persist in their wrong beliefs. I beg you to use your authority and power to help me. Peaceful coexistence is always the best solution. All right. And so we have done our court. What is this? I don't have time for feasts. I am an old man and my life is escaping me. There are only few... A few more opportunities in this life for me to finish the grand con conquests that I know they know are best for for all those in the world 
We do not yet know our ways. I know what I desire is for the best. And vassalize this person. Who is this? What is your territory? So you figured it out, unlike your father. You figured it out. Congratulations! You do not have to suffer a horrid war. Good on you. Great job. I mean, I'm just serious. Like, you figuring that out is probably the very best thing that could have happened for your people. A new lucky rabbit's paw. Now this is... This is a great boon because we didn't have our lucky rabbit's paw because we accidentally broke it and now we have a new one. It's like our decision to extend our life is now being blessed by the gods. Thank you for restoring our luck to us and our family. I don't want to feel bad for this kid. I don't want to feel bad for this kid. I probably can't use my holy order because they are not an evil religion. Probably should be an indicator that this is unjust wars, but uh, we're past those days now, I think. <laughs> partially raised to the point where we can probably defeat him, so let's just end it. No, no, no. Don't disband it. You need it. You just don't want it to be as big as it could have been. Down into the jungles. Down into the jungle. So, so, look at that. Look at that. Smart move on his part, but it's not gonna it's not gonna profit him any. Once we are on this siege, we will, of course, drop our besiegers. And then head up to here. Are you sure, sir? Are you sure you know what you're doing? <laughs> because my army is enormous. I can easily split it into two halves to destroy you. If that's what becomes necessary. I will take this portion of the army here. And I will move it. I will actually leave it here. I don't want to do that. I will only do that if it becomes necessary. We are so fast at this. Um, let's separate out the actual combat army here. Try to catch him. Got him. This won't be a stack wipe because of course we split our forces, but that's okay. It don't need to be. I legitimately don't know where they're going. I think they're trying to go to the sea to maybe come around and do some them circle. I don't feel like they're making good choices, though. I'll tell you that. I I don't feel it. Like, my heart tells me they're not making good choices. There we go. Enforce our demands. To become emperor in the south, we have the territory required. And look, can we fight you yet? Is it time yet? Doesn't feel like it's time yet. We've gotten so much done so fast. We are just pushing right through. Prisoner of my own body, I've now become infirm. Well, that's bad because it will force us to pour. In fact, to be infirm, I think we had to have been poor already, so we must have already dropped to poor. Could be just fine in age, though. I can never remember. We may, we may not make it. Well, we can barely hold on to our, uh, our domain anymore. We're such an old and feeble man, but we will. We will hold on. We will hold on to our domain. This beautiful empire is all our doing. I would just break this, sir. I'm going to decline it because I would just break it. <laughs> you keep that. You may find a use for it. I would just break it. Uh, we can no longer exercise anymore. All right, this is that guy. We're almost able to declare war on him again. So what happened to this guy? Is it done? It's done. It's done. Declare war for Duchy. We need his Duchy. Declare war for this. It's done. It's done. We are an 80-year-old man who is still literally going out in the battlefield and leading our armies. That, that is 
That is our truth right there. That is our truth. Let's... We should finish this so fast that, uh, that killing him can cap in second. <laughs> Come in! Of course we accept your oaths of fealty. Of course that we... We are the grandest empire in the history of the world. Of course we do. Of course we do. Enforce our demands? Expand all? We don't need to talk to a confidant because we are perfectly happy with the current circumstances. He owns this tiny, tiny piece of territory left, but it does prevent us from usurping his king title. Guy gets to remain king a little bit longer. What has happened here? Oh! He conquered them. Makes sense, guy. Makes sense. I, I can see why you would do that. A new face is wandering around my throne room, occasionally giggling and jumping up and down on the spot when he glances upon some artwork representing Kashmiri ways. There is something off about this visitor. When he comes forth, it is evident that he is carrying a replica of my favorite spear. I cannot help but genuflect before you. I've devoted my life in... Gonbo to appreciating the culture of Kashmiris. You should. I only speak in Kashmiri, eat Kashmiri baked truffles, and have studied the blade in the Kashmiri fashion. Ah, yes. We do have a very, 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 very old tradition of maintaining a knightly order of blade masters. I cannot help. My family have banned me from our home, claiming if I cannot do anything but obsess over the Lohar Empire, I should be there instead. It is flattering, if somewhat violating. Someone so enthusiastic should join our court. How dare you copy my spear, take it off him! <laughs> no. It's flattering, if somewhat violating is, I think, what we're going to pick. Alright. We should be really close to being able to declare this war now. They have lots of claims on his territory, but none of them matter. None of them are better than what we could just... just take. She's 11 more months. I suppose we've both moved on? Yeah. I, I don't care about him spending time with his wife. I mean, he did kind of um, violate our friendship by not... agreeing to vassalization, which would have been best for everyone involved. And we have become friends. All right. All right, grandson. All right. You know what I would like to do then? Let's swear the oath of true friendship. You can become my best friend, boy. Best friend. Now let's synergize our friendship to draw from a mix. That should give us four martial. Putting our marshal back to where it was in our prime. We have this guy. So let's elevate that guy. He's an 18. Wow, we have a... Wow. <laughs> we, have, we have a knight who's four. I want to look at that guy. We're going to actually give that guy a little bit of a focus here. So we go down here to our... I think it was that guy. Talks. Let's actually look... I was right. It was Tox. Okay. Yeah, we want to grab Tox. Force him. Make him the successor. That should actually stabilize all of them, I think. Look at this. Our Blade Masters? Our Blade Masters have become rank 6. They are extraordinarily... Extraordinarily high. Highly increased chance of death for in battle for knights fighting this, the acclaimed knight. Oh, this guy, this guy is literally a knight killer. He is a murderer. Uh, he is... Not even that good. You know, 23, it's right there. I could have just looked. But we have a 40. I just want to take a second to look at this guy. Sir. Where did you learn? Oh, you're Kashmiri, of course. You have a perfect martial education, but you're a famous champion. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're even related to me. Look at this kid. Look at this guy. 
Strong, quick, perfectly trained. You are in control of which of the many kingdoms that our family controls? Oh, these guys. This is one of the ancient kingdoms. We've had this kingdom for many generations. What a cool knight we have there. And vassal, for that matter. Look how our, uh, our council is doing. They're all, they all like us fine. You know, this lady's a little skeptical, but uh, we could switch up to here, right? Fiddle around here with our council. I think we're going to bring the episode to, it all, to an end. There are a lot of people, I think, in the domain now that have begun to question whether or not our wars are just and valid. You know, we have not been paying close attention to things as we once did, and most likely there is some 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 turmoil brewing. Either way, though, next episode is n going to most likely be the last one simply because I don't think there's going to be much for us to do after we get the Persian and the Bengal empires. The, the uh, conquest of the Mongol empire is something that is going to have to be done by a much younger man who can spend many years and many wars on that task. I thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to see you in the end.